Many of us have traveled in the regions of Luzon every vacation, but we haven't dug deep enough within the history behind the structures we visit. Northern Luzon is populated with tribes that constructed their own houses by sourcing their materials with nearby plants and trees. In this presentation, we will discuss some significant ancestral houses that still stands today in Northern Luzon. Vegan houses used to be made from lightweight materials, the same with Bahay Kubo. The idea of the houses in vegan today was brought by the Spaniards and their Mexican subjects. They mixed the indigenous design with European construction method. In that way, the historical houses were preserved better. With the arrival of Spanish colonizers, they helped to innovate their old houses into something that can withstand the natural disasters in the Philippines, and even made them far resistant with lime mortar. A vegan house is divided into two parts. The ground floor is composed of pure masonry, while the second floor still honors the indigenous materials with the timbers. As for the spaces, the ground floor is mostly used as a garage, storage area, or turned into shops for business. Going up to second floor with a large stair open to the living room, dining area, kitchen, bedroom, and a toilet. The baluster is connected to the dining area. The exterior of the house shows the large window made of wood and capiz shell window pane for the natural light and air to enter the house. The houses in Vigan are mainly used as tourist spots or anything business related. Along the Calle Crisologo stands hotels, restaurants, and coffee shops. It was built by Chinese mestizos that are also called Filipino Chinese. In Arce Manchon, visitors can dress up like the old times. As a historical monument, Kema House is a traditional Bahay Nabato. The Sikiga Mansion was where the late President Elpidio Carino's family once lived. It was taken back at the time of 1800s where the high society vegan life once lived. The building was named from the president's wife, Alicia Sakia, first born of the Chinese Thomas Sakia. It is also called the Malacanang of the North. The late president used to hold meetings in the mansion and also some important endeavors. Similarly to the local vegan houses with a great influence of the Spaniards, but unlikely the typical house, it is much spacious filling the mansion with President Carino's government work with its artifacts. The said structure was turned into a public museum and a historical landmark. It has various artifacts displayed with the interior. Casa Luna, located in La Union Province, is a historical significant house built in 1850 during the Spanish colonial period. It was the resident of the renowned Luna family, known for their contribution to Philippine art and history. The house is named after the Luna family, which included the famous painter Juan Luna and his brother Antonio Luna. Casa Luna is a historical landmark and living museum that showcases the rich heritage and artistic achievements of Luna family providing a deeper appreciation of their contributions to Philippine culture. The Bengson and Yuson ancestral house in Pangasinan built during an early 18th century, he households historical significance as it is associated with these families who have played vital roles in Pangasinan's cultural, economical, and political development. The Bengson and Yuson Ancestral House is a remarkable example of traditional Filipino-Spanish architecture featuring a district Bahay Nabato style. With sturdy stone and wood construction, elevated ground floor, and intricate capiz shell window, the house reflects the elegance and craftsmanship of the past. The Bengson and Yuson Ancestral House is a cultural landmark in Pangasinan showcasing the heritage of the Bengson-Yuson families. 
Visitors can explore its spacious interiors filled with antique furniture, heirlooms, and memorabilia providing insights into the family's lives and accomplishments. The house stands as a reminder of the province's rich history and the lasting legacy of its prominent families. The Cariño Ancestral House, located in Candon City, Ilocos Sur, was built in the 1700s for the Alcalde Mayor Don Miguel Cariño and later owned by the father of the revolutionary leader, Doña Maria Josefa Gabriela Cariño Sila. The Cariño Ancestral House has cultural significance as a heritage house and a treasure of Candon City, Ilocos Sur. It was one of the 20 old houses in Candon City that survived during World War II and was documented as a city heritage house. The house has been restored and reopened as the Candon City Museum in June 2019 after going through restoration. The Cariño Ancestral House is not only a historical house but also a cultural symbol of Ilocano heritage and identity. It represents the rich history, architecture, and lifestyle of Ilocos Sur and its people. The Ramos Ancestral House is a historical landmark located in the province of Pangasinan in the Philippines. This historical house has witnessed generations of the Ramos family, including the former Philippine President Vital V. Ramos. The Ramos Ancestral House is a magnificent structure that showcases the architectural style of the Spanish colonial era. With its grandiose design and intricate details, the house stands as a testament to the opulence and sophistication of the period. The two-story house features a combination of Spanish and Filipino architectural elements, including wooden panels, capiz shell windows, and a spacious veranda. The Ramos Ancestral House serves not only as a symbol of the family's heritage, but also as a cultural treasure for the province of Pangasinan. It stands as a reminder of the rich history and traditions that have shaped the region. The house provides visitors with a glimpse into the past, allowing them to appreciate the beauty and significance of Filipino ancestral homes. With the wonderful preservation of the ancestral houses, we were able to have the actual glimpse and feel of the past.